right, tier list time! So, we're gonna do strong to weak. I guess let's first start with myself. I haven't exercised for uh, years. I get tired when I walk. I will say, fair enough, D tier. Jack Manifold. <laughs> He's not very strong. He's definitely a bit scrawny. I think Minx could literally snap it in half. I'm gonna say D tier. Anita is hella hench. Gigantic, ma massive pecs and arms and legs, and she can literally kill men and women. And chill. I will put her at A tier for now. Christopher Yi. He knows how to lift keyboards. C. But he also looks like a pussy, so maybe D. Remember we had when we had him at pool dancing for our stream? And he was he was pretty good at it, so I would say he's C. If he has a girlfriend now, that means he's most likely in the bottom, okay? So he's he's been uh, his girlfriend's been doing all the work. He's gotta work out the fat bar, ma'am. He he hasn't been, okay? He is on C tier. Pokemon! He's built different. I'm pretty sure if you put him in a fight amongst people, he might be likely to topple over and lose. But he is built different. Which means that he could be actually absolutely strong. Fuck, my hair is going everywhere! Dr. K is... With the strength of his humanity, he will make someone feel so bad about themselves and he would just psychologically talk them out of uh, fighting that I think Dr. K is an S tier strength fighter. Oh right, we have to do Jerma, right. Jerma's a giga chat. I feel like he would talk his way out of a fight. I think Jerma is an A tier. You know, the better the content creator, the mushier they are. So I would say he's probably not the, the strongest. Let's go to Castle Ed. Big dude. Pisses on his, the toilet. Only weak bitches piss on the toilet seat. He also takes out the trash every day. I have mountains of trash. But he pisses on the toilet seat, so D tier. Mia Malkova, she can crush men with her thighs. She can also just take an 8, 12 inch donger up that throat. So much respect. Sushi Dragon, incredible technical genius. And he's also Asian, which means that uh, he is uh, incredibly smart. Wait, is that, is that bad to say? I'm Asian. I can get away with it. A sushi dragon very, very likely to win in a fight. The man who makes everybody surrounding him a little bit more moist. Now, Moist Caritical seems to be able to clone himself. You never know where Charlie is, and you can always assure that Charlie will be getting you from behind with all of his clones. I would put him in S tier. Little Andrea is a chess master. Every single morning, I, I seem to hear her trainer yelling, One more time! You can do it! Don't be a weak bitch! You pussy! Okay, a B tier. But she also can't tell if you're dead or alive. Andrea sees a very much alive rattlesnake in the driveway. She stands right beside it and goes, Haha, it's dead, and takes a fucking photo. I'm pretty sure you can just beat her by playing dead and she will think you're dead and uh, probably lose. Emmy, the mother of rabbits. She seems like she is more of a kind soul that doesn't want to hurt Anybody. But I feel like she's the type that would plan a fight and then uh, execute in a really good manner. So I'm gonna put her in a B. Never trust the quiet ones. That's true. The quiet ones are pretty crazy and dangerous. Porter Jade. She will kill everyone with her beauty. She'll take a look at you, you'll fap a little, and then you'll die. Okay, that's so disrespectful. I'm so sorry. Racy will probably see a uh, fight coming and probably will give that person a hug and that person will probably punch him in the stomach and then fill his abs and be like, bro, gotcha hyper nice abs, man. And then Racy will be like, it's the happy, lovable ones that you need to watch out for. And then he'll kick him in the nuts and then Racy will win. S tier. Let's talk about each. Each is a soy boy. Okay, don't be mean. All each has to do is wear his grandpa style shirt. And his opponent would probably just laugh at his fashion sense. But then all of a sudden, in the middle of his K-pop song, his balls will drop and his voice will crack. Um, I would say each, I'm sorry, you're probably D tier with the rest of us. My dear space boy. He's very hairy. He's really good at role-playing RP. And that would be a strength, it'd be an advantage. And then he would strangle his opponent with his tufts of hair. Uh, you know what? I think A is good tier. This is Sasha Gray. Sasha is incredibly smart. I would say B tier. She probably outwit a lot of people and then uh, probably squeeze them with her thighs. Dude, Kyoko has massive ass. She just sit on everybody and she suffocate them. I would put her into A tier. Lily Pichu. <laughs> Okay, I meant Hachu. Hachu is Korean, okay? Which means that Hachu is a crazy bitch. 
I know because I'm Korean and we're all crazy bitches. Hachu would beat the shit out of anyone that comes by. I would put her in A tier. Lily, okay, I'll do Lily this time. Lily's too sweet. Lily won't even hurt a fly. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Lily, but I think we're gonna have to put Lily into a negative D tier. Okay, let's go to Adept. Considering that I saw her cradling XQC on her lap, this woman can literally, literally lift a, a grown man up and cradle him. Adept is incredibly strong, so I'm gonna give her into an S tier. Alex is built like a Pixar mom. Okay, she is scary. When she gets like laser focused on something, she will kill. So I'm gonna put Alex into S tier. She is. scary. Scary. Erop looks a lot like Tyler One. He is built kind of hench. Erop is like a brick, so I'm gonna say he is an A tier. Okay, let's be real. Here, Kitty's fucking crazy. Kira reminds me of like an Asian auntie. Okay, that would literally obliterate you. Okay, if you hurt her, you know, nephews or children or whatever. Okay, Gina, darling. Gina has something called the Demon Squad. She has a squad of girls that has her back. So I would say Gina is actually S tier as well. S tier fighter. Michael Reese might look weak. But this man is another case of sushi dragon, where he will use his brains to create the most dangerous weapon. So I would say S tier fighter. He's like a chihuahua, but smart. Seer is a pretty boy. He is uh, into anime and he only fucks moms. For fucking moms, I'm pretty sure he's very good and very strong, but, but otherwise, you know, I would put him in D tier, okay? Nihachu, I got Nikki. And Nihachu missed up, and I almost said Nikachu. <laughs> Nikki would never fight. And she is like a peaceful woman. So I want to put Nikki to D tier. Sydney has a, has a heart of gold, but I feel like if she was in a fight, she'd be the baddest bitch. Sydney is cute, a secretly cat woman, so I'm gonna put her in S tier. Okay, because Molina has to, you know, probably carry Destiny around every single day and probably knows how to beat tiny little bitches. And so since most of us in this list is tiny bitches, she probably is gonna be in the S tier. Let's go to Maya. S tier, Maya had to deal with Miss Kiff. She's incredibly strong. Skara is called the Dawn. He reminds me of the Mafia. I don't think he's S tier, but I would say Skara is probably an A tier. Emma? <laughs> Emma's a loving girl. I'm just gonna put Emma to, to deal us because Emma wouldn't hurt a fly. But if she had to though, she'd probably poison people. Poison is a good weapon. A. Slicker's an interesting fellow. He's bald. Okay, he's gonna be D tier. Buddha's gigantic. He's, he'll just kill everybody. With his bare fan hands, he'll just crush skulls. He is S tier. I'm gonna have to put Casey into a D tier. Okay, let me get this straight for you guys, okay? I'm a fan of Casey. Casey will be too big to fight. She would just be like, bro, what are we doing, bro? Why are we fighting, bro? Miss is, I don't know, Miss is really strong. He, he's just S tier. He's big. He's a big dude. What can I say? He's actually more massive in real life. He's incredibly, ridiculously strong. Let's be real. Blau, Blau uh, reminds us of Walmart Justin Bieber. But, you know, we know that those tattoos don't really do it. You know, you're not tougher than you were without those tattoos. Okay, Blau? We're gonna put you with the, with the you know, with, in the D tier. Ludwig is too busy making content. I don't even know if he knows how to throw a fist. Also, I don't think he ever needs to have a defense mechanism because he's got Cutie Cinderella. You know, so I'm just gonna say, uh, I would say D tier. Cutie is his bodyguard, exactly. Speaking of which, we are gonna do Cutie Cinderella. She will rip you to threads. Okay, she will rip you apart, not, not just through just words, uh, through physical, uh, everything. Rip you apart through the internet as well, okay? She, she'll make you know your place. Don't fuck with Cutie Cinderella, dude. Alinity. Uh, Oh my god, I had a really mean joke. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. She would probably toss you over her chair. Ah! I'm sorry, Alinity! I love you! I have to 
absolutely love Alinity. I would put her in S tier just because she looks really strong. She is Colombian, which means holy shit. Those Colombian women, they can fight. Oh god, I think Saikuno only knows how to oh oh and uh oh. Without saying oh oh and uh oh. He probably doesn't even know what fighting even means. Saikuno is most likely a D tier fighter. Jamie's an uh oh oh again. It is the uh oh oh ones that you need to worry about. Out of nowhere, they come out with these incredible crazy powers and then left and right you're dead i would say c tier leslie you know you have i can i can't i i i don't think you have an ounce i don't think you have an inch in you where you can you know how to fight or you can fight oh god leslie is too hard of gold is true leslie you're a d tier fighter valkyrie is s because i don't know she just kill people with her beauty i'm sorry i'm an i'm a valkyrie simp okay what can i say i love valkyrie okay jenny see here's the thing about korean girls we are small but we're also kind of vicious and especially when we get drunk don't ever mess with a drunk korean girl okay you would die and i'll put her in a tier austin is known as a selfish top Austin probably has the most experience wrestling men than any of us he also constantly dominates men, uh, left and right. Because Austin has so much experience with wrestling, I would put him in S tier. So, when Alex was Wobby's caretaker, she had to, uh, because Wobby couldn't walk for a time. She had to wipe his feces off of his little butt cheeks. And Wobby, as we know, is not a small dude. Wobby's not fat, he's just chunky. Chunky, with a very big body. He's a little bit of a hottie. So we're gonna put Alex as fucking tier. Amaranth, bro, she would tongue punch you. Amaranth, with the sheer strength of her tongue muscles, can literally slap you left and right. But tongue is also a very fleshy, not a very strong. I'll put her in B tier. Why is all the girls landing in B tier? The B tier looks sexist. I gotta mix this up. Ah, Pokemon with her business prowess. The ruthlessness of her businessness mind. She would just outright buy everybody in this board and claim us as her own. I'm gonna just put her in S tier fighter. Jesus Christ. We'll have his head just fuck, dude. One of the biggest streamers I've ever seen. He is built really, really. He's a rock. Will's way too fucking strong. Okay, so I think Rich McCampbell is probably like, he's probably really strong. It's like when you have that mustache, man, you just, I can't put you in anywhere else but D tier, okay? Minx will kill for sport. Minx will, she, by the way, she wakes up at 5 a.m. to punch things. Okay, just a FYI, just keep that in mind. All right, and she's Irish. Louis knows he's stronger than Minx, but when it comes to actually fighting, Louis wouldn't want to fight her. S-Fan is the largest man I've ever laid eyes on. He's 100% man meat and 200% fur. Okay, his hands themselves are so massive that he could probably take a grown person's skull and just crush it as fucking tear. He's a paladin. Ah, right. He's a paladin World of Warcraft. I forgot. Very money, Wubby. Wubby also has very tiny eyes. Oh, uh, Wubby in a fight, he would probably shit on everybody or just shit in his pants, which means that he would have an opening to do a punch. So it'll be, just imagine if a, a, a T-Rex tried to punch. I think Wubby is an A-tier fighter. Does Miss Kiff even know the concept of fighting? Is there lower than D? I don't know. Oh, I'm trying. I, I, I wish there was. Miss Kiff would not win. He would just circle in the same place over and over again. He probably use all the women as shield. XQC. But the problem is, is that the opponent probably won't be able to understand anything that he's saying. Huh? I, I would say, yeah, he is built like a twig. Like a twig with muscles and fat and skin on it. I think he'll see Tier Fighter. Okay, Hassan's built like a house. There's a few advantages that Hassan has. So that's his advantage. His second advantage is that he has a really small head. Which means that when the opponent comes for a hit, it's not easy to hit something that isn't really there. But the problem with Hassan is that he would probably try to use his wit. Hassan could just use his muscles and his strength, but no, he has to use saltines and debates 
and his wit. So Hassan goes back to C tier. Unfortunately, Hassan will get a stun lock to one thing and probably forget about the entire fight entirely. Strength-wise, though, he'd probably be an S. 